Wait, do people say happy birthday or happy anniversary for these type of things? Hmm. Hey everyone, Webber Funko's here. Today is actually the one year mark since I've been doing YouTube. So I wanna just kinda go over the journey, tell you a little bit more about myself and talk about the channel. So let's check it out. I really started YouTube because I had so many people in my ear just encouraging me to start a YouTube. There's definitely a lot of people that collect Funko Pops. However, for me, I think it was just so uncommon for people to see the love that I had for Spider-Man and all of the Spider-Man Pops that I have. Growing up, Spider-Man's always been my personal favorite superhero because he's a teenager. And as a kid, which when you're a teenager, I mean, you're still respectively a kid. It was like watching another kid save the world, watching another kid really do these good things for other people. And that was inspiring for me because when you look at the other heroes, whether it's Marvel or DC, such as Iron Man, Thor, Batman, or Superman, they're usually portrayed as full-fledged adults. But for Spider-Man, it was like, this is a kid, bro. And for me, that was just everything. So I thought as a kid, well, I'ma do what Spider-Man does. I'ma do what a spider can and ever since then i've really been in love with spider-man i have pretty much as you all know every single spider-man funko pop i am missing a few but we won't get into that one so the start of my youtube channel was definitely encouraged by all these different voices in my ear friends and family alike and after i went to san diego comic-con for the very first time in 2023 i was definitely inspired seeing other people walk around with cameras out recording whether that had been for YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, whatnot, Twitch. I don't know, but it definitely encouraged me like I should, I could really be doing that, you know, and I would love to just show my collection off. That was my thoughts at the time and just share it with you all as I do now. And I've done for literally a year at this point. So following San Diego Comic-Con, I actually got the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles glow in the dark four pack. This one here to be exact. And you might be thinking, why is that relevant? Well, at the time, this four pack was not released in the US. I actually got this one from the UK off Amazon. So I had it a bit early when it was still technically unreleased. So then after the inspiration I felt at San Diego Comic-Con, getting this Ninja Turtle four pack, I felt so inspired. Like, man, I'm gonna show everybody that I got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle four pack unreleased. And that's really what started the journey. So my first maybe two or three videos actually were not even Spider-Man related because of that. So more on myself, I actually do have a nine to five job. Therefore, when I started YouTube, I was only doing shorts and I did shorts for an extensive amount of time. I think about 11 months, maybe 10, but I believe it was about 11 months because doing shorts gave me more of a work-life balance, gave me more time to produce more content. However, at one point I was posting a short every single day. And I think after about mm, give or take six months, I kind of got creator's block. I got a bit exhausted and I stopped doing shorts every single day. Now you'll notice the pattern. It's about maybe two or three shorts a week, whatever I see relevant, whatever I see fit, but it also still gives me time to make sure I'm producing quality videos for you all. And that's what's important to me. As a person, I'm more of a perfectionist. And that's why I named this video, Me Versus Myself, because over this year, that's really what it's been. Don't get me wrong. It's been a great, great journey. And I'm so thankful for this last year on YouTube. However, I get in my own head sometimes. I have goals, I have expectations for myself. And that goes video by video. Sometimes I'll make a video and I think, this is definitely gonna be a great video. It's gonna get tons and tons of views. And when it doesn't hit that mark or come close to it, sometimes I get in my head, what did the viewers not like? What did the audience dislike? Whatever the case may be. And so therefore it's been a battle with myself mentally more than anything but it's not always that way for sure. I'm my biggest fan and also my biggest critic. I'm gonna have to admit that one. But now I definitely wanna just kinda take a look back 
over what this one year journey on YouTube has been. So here's a few of my shorts and other videos just over the year. All right, so I've been hearing that this four pack of Ninja Turtles from the new movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, the four pack Amazon exclusive glow in the dark is not out yet and not many people have it, but I do. And honestly, the glow on this thing is amazing. The camera really doesn't do it justice, but just a little preview of what the glow is like. And the detail on the box is sick. I mean, it has all four of the Ninja Turtles names. The background of each name correlates to their colors, has the abbreviation of their names. They're at the bottom, Raph, Mikey, Donnie, Leo. And if you haven't seen the movie yet, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Really, really great movie. Back at Funkoville. This is the entrance. Um, this is the Funkoville Visitor Center. They're selling the box of fun from, or the fun on the run. The Blockbuster Rewind booth. Lines long, crazy. Um, over here is the Funko Biddy Mart. Little Freddy Funko as the mayor. The Funko Motel is in front. Um, the Funko Games booth. I watch where I'm going too. Let's keep walking. Um, the Mondo booth is there. The Slime Splice is It's looking on the other side. Um, the Funko Donuts. It's not actual donuts. I promise I would have got one. They're selling more Funko Pops there. The Crown Bowl where they're saying selling all the exclusives for the event. And this is the Lounge Fly booth. Gorgeous, actually. You can see all the stuff in there. And this window is really what makes this booth super clean to me. I got the new Toto Funko Pop in hand. In hand. The Chalice Collectibles pre-release. Check that out. Love the new sticker. Got this one early. That's why I do have the pre-release sticker. Ordered it when it first dropped on their website, but I'm really digging this one. And in case you were wondering, this is from the new set of Jujutsu Kaisen. There you can see the other Funko Pops on the back of the box. I did want to go ahead and showcase this one out of box. Has really good detail. The mark on his face, a little bit of hair detail. But more than anything, I absolutely love how they used his technique here. Gave him an action pose and then incorporated it as the base there. Now, I really couldn't be more excited to put this thing right next to my UG Eats story. I'll definitely be placing these side by side just like this somewhere in my collection. And then I mentioned my UG Eats story is signed by the English voice actor Adam MacArthur with the quote, I'm into girls like Jennifer Lawrence. If you know, you know. Why is the channel called Web of Funkos? Well, I have pretty much every single Funko Pop of Spider-Man ever made. I'm only missing two. Down here, I have six inch pops, two packs, four packs, the eight pack comic covers, and even the 10 inches. I have everything from Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Women, anyone you can think of in the Spider-Verse. Custom Funko artwork, and on this shelf, a few grails, glow-in-the-dark, and chases. And now, to get up there. And up here, I have some of the newer releases that have come out this year or late last year. And yes, I'm 6'2 and had to get a step stool. And some of my personal favorites that are signed. Sam Raimi, Haley Steinfeld, Shamik Moore twice, Andrew Garfield, Najee Jetter, this is just a con sticker, Yuri Lowenthal, Christopher Daniel Barnes, A Smile World Custom, Willem Dafoe, and art by Sam De La Rosa. That's pretty much everything in case you were wondering. You want to know if the Web of Funkos has Cosmic Spider-Man. I do, but let's take a closer look at this one. And here is Cosmic Spider-Man. Interestingly enough, the box says Spider-Man Captain Universe. However, this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. I really like the way the box looks at the old 2D art. But let's take a closer look at this one out of box. Here is Cosmic Spider-Man, a.k.a. Captain Universe out of box. It is a bobblehead as all Marvel and Star Wars Funko Pops are bobbleheads due to a licensing agreement with Funko. Now, taking a closer look at this one, I love the attention to detail. The galaxy part of this Funko Pop has a little bit of a metallic look to it. The starry and galaxy part might be just my favorites, aside from the translucent energy blast around his fist. Let me know in the comments below. What Spider-Man do you want to see next from the Web of Funkos? What's up, everybody? Web of Funkos here. Went to a store I had never visited. The moment I walked in, I was greeted by tons and tons of Freddy Funkos. 
Also, they had pops I hadn't seen before, like this limited to 3,000 piece Funko player, Wally Warheads, great mold, and never seen these Garbage Pail Kids here. Also, in this case, they had the official New York Comic Con Red Goblin, really debated that one, and tons and tons of toys. They had more than just Funko Pops. Also wanted to show off these comic covers in love of the channel, Web of Funkos. And in case you guys were wondering, I did end up picking up that Red Goblin. Here it is with the official New York Comic Con sticker. And out of box, this thing has some great detail. I love how vibrant the red is. Let me know, have you ever visited the store PCA Designer Toys? Here are 10 of my favorite Spider-Man Funko Pops. Superior Spider-Man. Spider Armor Mark III. Spider-Man Final Swing The Diamond Collection. Andrew Garfield's The Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man from the Worldwide Engineering Brigade. Freddy Funko as Spider-Man. The White Suit Spider-Man 2099. Red Chrome Iron Spider. The glow-in-the-dark chase black and gold suit Spider-Man. And upside down Spider-Man. When did I start collecting Funko Pops? Let's take a trip down memory lane. This was the first Funko Pop that I bought back in 2015. Although I didn't get serious until 2020. In 2018, I had quite a few pops just from getting them online. In 2020, once the pandemic hit, I decided to take collecting Funko Pops very seriously. And that really led into what you see today. This is a great place for a big speech. While I was in California, I had the opportunity to visit the Funko Hollywood store right off the bat. You know I found the Marvel section, but more importantly, the Spider-Man Funko Pops and even picked up the new Iron Spider Upper Deck exclusive. But I will admit my favorite part of the trip was seeing the giant Funko Pop statues that you could take pictures with and creating your pop of yourself there at the Pop Factory. This was, in fact, an unforgettable trip that I'll never forget. And now my goal is to visit Funko HQ in Washington. Hey everyone, just want to stop and say thank you for 1,000 subscribers.
It's Christmas. You bet that I don't have all of the Christmas Spider-Man Funko Pops? Let's check it out, and happy holidays. I do have Peter and Miles. I also have Peter and Miles. Here I have Miles and Peter and Gingerbread Spider-Man. Leave a comment and let me know what you got for Christmas. Thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. You asked for a face reveal. Wait, 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 wait. You better show you my secret identity. Maybe a 10,000 sub, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. Happy New Year! It's officially 2024. Leave a comment. Let me know some of your goals for the new year and some of your new year resolutions. Honestly, I see comments like this all the time where you think I only have Spider-Man Funko Pops. But you want to see all the Funko Pops in my collection? Let's check it out. Here is my massive Spider-Man wall of Funko Pops, which majority of you have probably seen in previous videos, along with my glass case of signed Spider-Man Pops and Funko Sodas. However, I do have a second wall, which has majority of my anime Funko Pops or anything else that I decide to add to my collection, which a lot of them are signed by their voice actors or voice actresses. This is your Funko Pop if you scroll. And this, if you like. This is your Funko Pop if you comment. And this, if you subscribe. This is your Funko Pop if you share. I just received the best package in the mail, and it wasn't even a Funko Pop. Believe it or not, I just received my first ever YouTube Creator Award for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. And I wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart because this wouldn't be possible without each and every one of you. I got another really cool package in the mail, but this time it's my very first ever Funko Pop prototype. This all red prototype is the first mold that Funko printed of the Spider Armor Mark III. Let me know if you have a Funko prototype in your collection. Hey everyone, it's me, Web of Funkos. Welcome to my first long form video. I'm back at the celebrity autograph area, but this time it's not anime. Can you guess? If you guess Marissa Tommy, aka Aunt May, you were correct. There is everyone's favorite aunt, and the moment I started recording, everyone recognized the Web of Funkos. Okay, okay. That's a lie. I'm not actually that popular. Aww. All right, so it is Wednesday, and Wednesday means it's preview night. I am finally here. San Diego Comic Con 2024. Let's go. So, you know, the first place I had to visit was Funkoville. This is Funko's very own city town whatever you want to call it but they did have the pop yourself area where you could make yourself deadpool and wolverine themed they had the funko fusion video game with the little booth on the side mondo had its own little section and i think where everyone wanted to be was this little area where you buy the funko exclusives for the convention but loungefly did catch my eye because of this nice little spider-man loungefly backpack at San Diego Comic-Con, I had the opportunity to pop myself as either Wolverine or Deadpool in honor of the new Deadpool Wolverine movie. Of course, I had to go with the favorite, which is Deadpool. For the accessories, I did decide to go with the SDCC exclusive and Deadpool's mask. Then went on to name my pop Web of Funkos, and here's the final result with Dogpool. Y'all want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I would have never never ever imagined in one year of me doing youtube i'd be at a hundred thousand plus subscribers and i will say unboxing this my first youtube award the silver 100 000 subscriber plaque meant the absolute world to me 
I'm the type of person, I'm hard on myself. Again, I set high expectations. So there's so many things where it's like, I should do that. I expect to be at the top. I expect to achieve this goal. And I'll say, I didn't expect this one. So for that reason, I'm just very proud of me. And I'm usually not the one to say I'm proud of myself. I will tell other people all day, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. But for me to tell myself that is just, yeah. The achievements I've reached this year have been beyond measure. The channel itself, at the time of me recording this video, actually has 4.6 million views as an entire channel, which is incredible to think about. Trying to strive for that 5 million view mark and beyond. So again, I just want to thank each and every one of you for always just sticking with me through this journey watching the videos, and more importantly, always, always just staying engaged with me. That's my favorite part, reading all of your comments, the engagement, and I try my best to respond to them, like the ones I like, and everything of that nature. When you take the time to interact with me, I always try my best to take the time to interact with you as well. So with that being said, drop a comment on this video. At this point, it doesn't even matter. I don't have a theme. You know, normally I say, Comment if you prefer this. Comment, let me know what you think of this. Just drop a comment on this video. Interact with me. Ask questions. How you doing today? Let me know. At this point, doesn't matter. I would just love to hear from you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Send it to some friends. Let them know throughout this year you've enjoyed watching the Web of Funkos. Maybe they'll enjoy watching it as well. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'm out of here, y'all.